Hey guys, it's Jessie and welcome back to my channel and happy Christmas! If you guys celebrate it, I hope you're having a great Christmas. I'm filming this on Christmas Day itself and today we have a very exciting video because I'm going to be doing a Christmas book haul. So these are all the books that I got gifted for Christmas. Technically I'm also including birthday gifts in here as well because I did get some books for my birthday. My birthday's on the 14th of December if you guys don't know. So um, I got some books from there too and I thought it'd be more interesting. I didn't want to split it up and then do like six books in one and five books in another. Um, so yeah, I'm going to just do it all as one. But yeah, we have some very exciting bits today. Um, firstly, I've got two bits that technically aren't book related. One of them I'm actually using right now is a light, but I did get a little reading light. This is just the Gritten reading light. And um, I did put that on my wish list. So very happy to receive that. And then my main present this year was actually a Kindle. So this is just the book that I've currently got up on there. Um, you can see it's got a few finger marks on it, so it doesn't look the nicest right now. But this is just the Kindle Paperwhite and as you can see I've got a Kindle here which is going to be super duper exciting. I cannot wait to use this and just kind of read more books on it. It's going to be so handy for when I'm traveling about on a train a lot and want to read and just in general really happy to have a Kindle rather than having to read Kindle Unlimited books on my phone. I didn't really love doing that but without further ado let's just get straight into the uh, video with the books. So the first category I guess we have is books that I technically bought for myself um this is just kind of like in the christmas period and i did just buy one book for myself so i wanted to include it in this haul and that was this is going to hurt by adam k this is a non-fiction about i believe working in the nhs which is the uk health system and it's meant to be very very interesting and it's won a lot of awards i picked this up when i was buying a present for my dad i bought him a book and then wanted to get another one for half price so i just picked this one up i want to read more non-fiction hopefully um this year so hopefully i should be able to fingers crossed uh read that this year if i do stick to my goal of reading more non-fiction then we're going to move on to books that my boyfriend bought for me so the first one is he basically got me a gift card to waterstones and um for some of that money i bought myself but technically with his gift card the final girl support group by grady hendrix i've heard a lot of good things about this one apparently it's kind of like slasher-esque it's about a group of final girls from movies so like not movies necessarily but like massacres and their massacres have been turned into movies and they're the last one to survive the serial killer like at the end of the movie so it's about final girls and they're all in a support group together and then eventually someone starts picking them off one by one um so it sounds really interesting and really i really want to get more into horror i think so i'm really excited about this one uh that sounds really good then we went shopping on my birthday and he let me pick out a couple of books which he then very kindly paid for so firstly there was bear town which is by frederick backman um this sounds really really interesting it's basically about a really really tight close-knit town and then someone's murdered in the woods and it's kind of about figuring out who did it and half the town wanting to kind of keep it quiet and then other people wanting to obviously get justice and stuff this was actually on the banned books table in the waterstones i went to in manchester which was really interesting i think me and my boyfriend looked up afterwards that it was only like because it was on a curriculum without like being approved or whatever but i found it really interesting that they had like a banned book table so yeah really really excited about this one it gives me really cool like wintery vibes then i also picked out true crime story by joseph knox so this is about the disappearance of a girl and um someone being drawn into it and i believe the writer of this book is like a character in the book does that make sense firstly it is mixed media which i adore so much and basically at the start of the book there's like a letter or like a, a fake letter a fictional letter um from the publishers basically saying that like we want to do a second edition kind of clarifying my position on the case because like obviously he ended up getting involved and stuff um which i find so cool i love when books are a bit meta like that um so obviously all fictional but um i'm really excited about this one it sounds really interesting then um physical books i actually got gifted um firstly i got melody rising but i opened that at university and i didn't want to bring it home to show it in this video and then take it back to university that seemed a little bit pointless to me because i knew that i was going to not have time to read it over the christmas holidays so i thought i might as well keep it there and then also i got the paris apartment by lucy foley which is super exciting this has been on my want to read list for a long while um i've heard really good things about her writing i've got the hunting party but i haven't read it yet i think i'll read this one first because i think i've got a video idea that i want to do including this book so i'm very very excited about this one i believe it's just a kind of murder mystery or missing person 
So the girl goes to visit her brother in Paris and he's gone missing and everyone else in the apartment block is a bit suspicious. So yeah, it sounds really, really interesting. And then books that were on my Christmas wish list. Um, two of these I've got to mention in the video that I did. I will link up here if you want to see all the books I asked for. I was very lucky to receive all of them bar two and two I actually forgot to include in that video. But I did actually ask for the hardback um, edition of Dracula. Waterstones does these really gorgeous like pretty classic hardback covers and I really want to read a couple more classics. I'm also interested in Animal Farm as well. I think that'd be interesting and that's a short one. But this is the Dracula book. Version. I thought this would be really interesting. It is thick, it is long and the writing is dense but I really do want to give this a go. Probably not until like October time. I think this is really like a spooky read. I'd love to read this um, in October but I will be in Canada so it, I don't know how well it will work out but I think this is just a gorgeous edition and so I'm really really excited to read it. I'm really excited to have received it for Christmas. Really grateful as well because it's just stunning. Then I got as a Christmas Eve present a Court of Thorns and Roses. Um, I'm hoping to kind of pick up the whole series but my mum very kindly got me the first one. I did put this on my list. I do have a copy of this but it's my friend Neves so I need to give it back to her and I'm 90% sure that I'm going to love the series so I think Thought I want to have my own copies anyway so um, I've got this one now and if obviously as I'm pretty sure I will if I do enjoy it I'll be able to pick up the rest of them I forgot to give a synopsis I think Dracula is pretty self-explanatory like Bram Stoker um, the guy is like going to uh, this uh, place and meets Dracula and it's the kind of classic story and then A Court of Thorns and Roses I'm not too sure um, I believe it's basically um, about Faye Feyre and she's in a bit of a love triangle and I'm actually not too sure what happens in here at all but it's a very popular booktop book so I'm excited about that one. Then we have Pizza Girl um, by Jean Kyung Frazier which is meant to be a bit of a kind of weird short shorter story um, obviously not a short story itself but this is about an 18 year old pizza delivery girl who basically becomes obsessed with one of the women that she um, is delivering pizza to and it says as one woman looks towards motherhood and the other towards middle age the relationship between the two begins to blur, blur in a strange blur in strange and ultimately heartbreaking ways so it sounds really interesting um i believe it was jack edwards who talked about that and i thought it sounded really cool then we've got rock paper scissors by alice feeney this is actually shorter than i expected it to be this is like a domestic thriller um and i'm very very excited for this one too i've heard good things i believe they're like on a romantic vacation or whatever so can't wait that sounds really really cool okay sorry if the angle or lighting has changed slightly i just had to go and basically eat an entire christmas dinner but i believe i just finished talking about rock paper scissors and next we had kim jung born in 1982 so i'm super excited about this one i believe this was also a recommendation from jack edwards but it's also a million copy international bestseller so on the little blurb on the front it says it's a South Korean sensation that's got the whole world talking. The life story of one young woman born at the end of the 20th century raises questions about endemic misogyny and institutional oppression that are relevant to us all. Riveting, original and uncompromising, this is the most important book to have emerged from South Korea since Han Kung, the vegetarian. So it sounds very, very interesting. I also love the cover of this. I think it's so cool. So I'm very, very excited for this one. And then the last one we have is the one I I was most excited for which is a life ceremony by Sayaka Murata if you watch my channel you know I loved earthlings and convenience store women so much this is a collection of short stories from her and there's actually quite a lot in here I believe it goes up to just 266 pages and it's like full of short stories there's i believe 13 stories in here so quite a lot and also the cover is so cool i love this author her works i have adored so far so i cannot wait to read this i need to find a way to either work this into a vlog or just give it a read because i'm super excited for it and it just sounds incredible so yeah those are all the books that i got um for my birthday and christmas this year 11 books here plus malibu rising and obviously a kindle so very very grateful very very lucky thank you to everyone who bought me books my aunts and uncles my parents my boyfriend love you all so much so very very grateful and yeah let me know what books are these if you've read any if that you enjoyed any that you'd love to see in reading vlogs specifically but yeah i really hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did don't forget to give it a like down below hit subscribe turn on the bell to a little club make sure you turn on all notifications then you'll be notified every single time i post a new video if you want to watch one of my other videos there'll be two on the screen now to pick from as well as a load linked up in the cards from earlier so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye